Just remember, all you Aboriginal and Ireland people, that same sun has shone on the Aboriginal and Ireland people in this country for 50,000 years, and it's still shining on us. May the sun shine a long, long time. You see the colours of the flag? That red, that black, that yellow? The black stands for the people and the colour of our skin. And the red is for our land and the blood that has been shed in our struggle and is still being shed. And that yellow is for the life-giving force, the sun, that unites the people and the land. And we will never be separated, the land from the people, as long as there is a sun to shine. So let the sun shine. I'd like to first of all thank all of our black brothers and sisters from Queensland for letting us all come and visit them on their land. Joba Jogi Patterson, I don't thank you simply because you seem to be labouring, use the word, under a misapprehension that white people discovered this country. For, this, for Joba Jogi Patterson, for Russ Hen, for all the National Party people in Queensland, and for all those gubs in Queensland who seem to think that Captain Cook discovered Australia, I'm here to tell you, it's not true. This country... This country was discovered, explored and settled by Aboriginal people. Our people have been here for something like a hundred thousand years. And people like Joba Jockey Peterson and his ilk forget that too easily. There are too many white people in this society today who are trying to suggest that Aboriginal people are seeking something that they're not entitled to. Well, let me tell you, Joba Jockey Peterson and all your mates, before any white man ever set foot on this country, Something like 800 million Aboriginal people had lived and died here. And as far as we're concerned, that establishes beyond all reasonable doubt prior occupancy, prior ownership of this country. And we now, after being invaded, after being subjected to the sort of massacres and brutality that continues in Australia today, we now say we want justice. We want land rights. Land rights is important for the survival of Aboriginal people. Land rights is vital for the survival of Aboriginal people. <laughs> what we're doing here. We're not mucking around. We've come a long way, a lot of us here in the Brisbane Blacks and the Queensland Blacks are real strong and we're going to support them. And what we're doing here is serious business for the history of persecution of the Queensland government. This society that's around us here today, see all them big buildings and all that stuff. <laughs> Those are symbols of what this society truly believes in. Those are symbols of what this society truly worships. They tell us that this society that's been imposed upon us is a Christian society and they worship God. That's crap. Yeah. The type of society that exists in this state and all through white Australia is a society that worships money. And if Aboriginal people... <laughs> if Aboriginal people are to survive with their cultural integrity intact, then we must deal with the white man on equal terms. And that's what land rights in one sense means. It means the ability of Aboriginal people to have economic independence. Because when we've got economic independence, we don't have to go crawl into no Department of Aboriginal Affairs. We don't have to go to Canberra with our caps in our hands and suck into the bureaucrats, because then we've got our own money. We generate our own money. And generating our own money is the only way that we are going to be able to exercise true self-determination in this society. The churches must start giving.
giving black people land to use as community resources. Four years ago, when we first set up the Australian Council of Churches Aboriginal Advisory Group, every man and his dog in the churches was there saying, yes, our church will think about giving Aboriginal some of our land. We still haven't got any. And we say to the churches, we can't trust you any more than we can trust Joe Bajoggi Peterson until you put your money where your mouth is. There is no doubt in our minds this struggle will continue and there is only one end to the Aboriginal struggle. There can only be one end and that is the recognition of meaningful Aboriginal land rights. That is the only end that Aboriginal and Island people can consider. It would not be worthy of us to settle for anything less, mm. and we will not. Do you think this, you the protests Bad of the games are going to have any positive effect as far as getting well, getting, 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 getting Joe in, in particular to uh, get off his... Well, that won't be up to us. I think that other heads of state, other people from other countries who have to demean themselves to deal with such a racist country as Australia, mm. I think that they are the ones who will be forced to do something about their own image. I mean, not everybody's prepared to lower themselves to Fraser and Joe's level, and least of all, us, the Aboriginal. Just, so what you're saying is that the change is going to come from the outside? No, 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 no. It's going to come from the outside. I'm saying that they will be able to put a lot of pressure exactly. on. Exactly. Right. But nobody else can fight our battle for exactly. us. Exactly. Right. They, can, they can stand beside us, but they cannot fight for us. Nobody else will suffer instead of us. Yeah. They can suffer with us. Nobody else will protest instead of us. They might protest with us, but nobody else will do it instead of us.
refuse to use it because they're fighting of Joe Bajogi Peterson. Mal Fraser has the ability tomorrow to stop these demonstrations, defuse everything that's going on here. He's been too cutless to use it. That, for the benefit of the media that's here, that for the benefit of our brother from the, from the Queensland Special Branch, and that for the benefit of the people over there is why we're demonstrating today. Land rights now! Land rights now! Queensland, they've set up these uh, reserves, Aboriginal reserves, for in actual fact they're concentration camps. People are not allowed to leave without a permit, not allowed to go back in without a permit. Uh, they work for substandard wages. There's en entry to their houses is, is just whenever the manager or the white or black police think that, you know, they just do it. It's very oppressive. The act itself breaks a large number of the conventions under the um, United Nations Declaration for Human Rights. In fact, it breaks more than the apartheid act in South Africa. And what we are saying here is that because the world has shunned South Africa, that they should also shun Australia because we have uh, a more racist piece of it legislation in this state and there's also racist legislation throughout the whole country they're a thing of the past we we, we refuse to live under them that's why we're here we want we want them repealed we want land rights we want our independence we want to be self-determined and we, we don't want people running our affairs giving us so-called protection Would anyone like to get their photo taken by the police officers just moved out here? Would anyone like to get their photo taken by the police officers? Would they just move out here? There was a group formed in Musgrave Park, which we call the National Black Unity Group. Uh, a fairly loosely formed committee we'll make you a sandwich, okay? that began from the time the tents went up here, I guess, and operated very effectively during the last two weeks. It was a group which didn't have time for internal fighting. It didn't have time to develop leadership. There was a few of us who came into a position of being spokespeople, but any decisions that were made about what action we were going to take about the functioning of things in the camp or on the streets, those decisions were made by, the, by all the people here. That we, we were very, very aware of the dangers of a leadership situation developing. And I think uh, the whole group worked together really well to make sure that, that we didn't fall into the, uh, the trap of having a leadership. You fellas have to give me a go, because I'm passing yeah, so hard to get the money. Yeah, well, and yes, that money is going to be stopped today, because of uh, what Sugar has made a statement. What? Well, Sugar what, made what, a statement. What, 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 read that, read that. 
Well, there was a statement about sugar, which was threatened for about two more illegal marks. Could we have all the marshals up here now, please? Well, I mean, that's not what they was illegal about sure. sugar. The thing is, you know, I mean, you can take notice of paper and you can disregard them and things like that. But what do I do to talk to, you know, what do I, what do I talk with, uh, to make some sense? Would I go against my own NHMM or fight against my NHMM? Well, this is not even right because we've never discussed anything about no marks yeah, well, but, at all. Yeah, sure. But one of the things that we've got to decide now, whether we Can want we have to... all the marshals up here now, please? One of the things we decide now, we want a festival or a illegal march. We've got choice, our choice. I mean, the thing is... <laughs> this is... Uh, uh, well, it's... <laughs> Go on now, we know... Tell now me we... what you want. Now, we know so... this for the black people. We've got to talk about this, you know? We didn't want any sort of... Um, Whatever. Press. What's this? Have a this what is, is it? A, it's right, Steve. This is a Murray uh, film thing. This is a Murray's one. See, a lot of people here know that we put it on uh, the minister for twenty thousand dollars for a festival here, and they give us ten thousand, or they said they were going to give us ten thousand dollars. Now, because of a statement that Sugar Ray made in the paper this morning to say there's going to be illegal marches, he's blackmailing us again. You know, so. If that's the, the case, we have decided, we already have decided that we will march and that all before, ever since yeah. we've been here. Oh, yeah. So we've been blackmailed again, and if, if he, if he, can't, let's see, Glenn keep his $10,000 then. We will decide what yeah. we're going to do here. People, okay, yeah. We've been living here for the last week without any of his money, we can still keep on doing it. What the problem is here, is there's too much media outside. They should come to the park. We've been saying, set up an Aboriginal land rights an embassy here and no one's made an attempt and that all the media is brought here to speak from it here not all the offshoots just like you said sugar's made a thing that stopped the ten thousand dollars and you've got other people making things to the to the to the fucking media except the people here yeah i think the most the most important thing that's come out of this out of this is that the grassroots people the people who have had no say earlier the people who had to depend on their leaders to tell them what to do have showed that we can do it on our own, that we've made it on our own, that this whole setup has been just that, poor grassroot, grassroot people, blacks who are really struggling for land rights. And I think that's the most important thing that we must, that has happened here, and we're going to make that an ongoing thing. This showed that our people, with a little bit of encouragement and a little bit of respect, we can get together and we can organise ourselves and whatever we want to do, how we want to do it. We've proved that people are the strength and people will make the revolution. We don't have to rely on um, putting up figureheads that the people will do it. We can sit down and we can do it in a traditional way. That's one of, maybe, you know, we get, we get heaps put on them because we call a lot of things, you know, and that even Victorian, the Coorys, they're trying to phase us out and they reckon there's no Coorys there and they won't give us a uh, title to land because we're not, we're not uh, full-blooded Aboriginals, as they say. But we got part, we got our tradition and our spiritual feelings for our land. And we, here, the thing about it is we use one of them traditions in coming in a consensus of opinion. No one had con sole control of it. No individual had the power that separated and parted people. Everybody put in. Now the only way we're going to embarrass this, the, the state government and the, and the federal government is to have the police use violence on us. And the only way we're going to do that is by taking to the street. There's media coming No, 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 we have to get together, that the executive get together. There's too many migloos here, and sometimes I think there's a black traitor in the camp.